right. So, um, so next we have new, and that is your N sound. Um, this is going to be one that can a little bit from English as well, because new B. Just make it like a B. All right, and uh, capital new is a uh, capital N. All right. Next we have uh, C, C, and this is going to be like an X sound. And um, so this is probably the hardest Greek letter to write. So it's like a zeta with an extra loop on it. So you do one loop, another loop, that. That is your zeta. Now, um, a capital, sorry, not a zeta, uh, a C. Your capital C is like three lines that aren't connected, which is a, a weird, weird thing. So that's how it's written. And so that's going to have like an, like an X sound. Okay. How are we doing? So Omicron is next. <laughs> Omicron. Oh, no. <laughs> so Omicron is like a small <laughs> And uh, uh, capital. Uh, it's just like a big. Ready. So Omicron, and, and the sound is like a like a like a short O off, like offer. Awesome. Yes. Uh, what's the difference between the the sound for like alpha and the sound for um, Omicron? It'd be like the difference between a short A in English and a short O in English. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not a not a lot of difference, but yeah. But um, but we, we hear that in English though, like father or offer or father omelet. Yeah. Um, it sounds like a new leader pronouncing R. Yes, it does. I think pronouncing work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next we have uh, this one. There, there are two ways you can pronounce it. Actually, with all these, um, if you think math, you're going to say pi. Um, there actually is no letter that makes a long I sound in Greek. So it wouldn't have been pronounced that way. Um, we pronounce it that way because it, that's how we read it in English, but it, it'd be P, like the letter P. Yeah. So it's probably that I, I, when I learned Greek, I, I learned it as pi, but it's never made sense because there's no long I sound. <laughs> and so that, now you can, there is um, where they put two. Uh, vowels together that does make an I sound, but it's not a letter. And so P is pronounced like P. And so this, if you took math and all algebra, it's, it's you write it the same way. And the capital is just like a larger one. And if you want to get fancy, you do it like that. So that is P, and it just has a, like a P sound, P is in pi. Um, then we have row. 
rho. Again, rho is your R sound, and this one confuses people in English too because the letter, when you write it, it looks like a P. Okay, so you start down here at the bottom and you come up like this. That's rho. Here's how I think of it in English. Okay, if I do this and bring another one down, we got an R. Okay, that's how I think of it. Let's leave that off. That's a rho. Yes. Do no, sometimes we have a Y that goes beneath the line. Do any of these go beneath the line, or do they have such a concept of? Um, if if yeah, if they're this one probably would. Yeah. And I think the beta as well. The, the yeah, the stem that goes down. Yeah. Rho, mm -hmm. I don't think would though. I don't think it would. Um, a capital rho is like a capital P in English. So that's why it, it gets confusing with that. That's why you would probably be confused with. Um, let's see. Okay. Sigma. Sigma is the only one that has two forms. Okay. So a sigma, you start here, you come up around like that. And a sigma of capitals, uh, the other form. So if the sigma is found within a word, anywhere at the beginning of a word or anywhere within the word, um, it'll be written like this. At the end of a word, it'll look more like an English S. It'll, it'll look kind of like an S that's stretched out. So um, English used to do that. If you've ever uh, seen a book that was written or printed like in the 1700s, or even even to the even in the 1800s, um, an S within a word, an old English S would look like an F without the line, right? And so our English S used to have two forms, and the S that we use today was only written at the end of the word. So it does that like Greek did the same thing. So sigma, oh yeah, capital sigma. It's like this. You've probably seen those before too. Different things. Looks like that. It's not a very good one. Looks like an M put on its side. Okay, then we have our next letter. Tao, you're gonna like this one. Because it's called tau. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, tau just looks like a T, like a capital T, just, just smaller, smaller in size. And um, capital tau is going to look like a, a bigger one. And it just has a sound like a T, like an English T sound, like T is in towel. You, you notice even in the order of the alphabet, you notice Omicron, P, Rho, Sigma, Tau, O, P, R, S, T. So even, even if the order is somewhat similar. Okay. Um, and next we have uh, Upsilon or Upsilon. This looks like a U um, without a, any stem on it. And a capital capital one looks like a capital Y. And so hoops along, and the the uh, letter sounds like a ooh, like a poop. Like if you think in English, double O together. Ooh. Oops along. Um next we have. B, and this looks like a circle with a line down through it. Um, I do mine a little slanted. Capital B looks like a bigger one, line straight. And so that has um, like an F sound, or like in, in English, it'd be more like a P, well, it's the same sound, but PH. Um, 
and so in a lot of English words that have pH, they're actually coming from Greek, like phone is coming from Greek. And so um, um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. It's another uh, dolphin. Dolphin. Maybe Philadelphia it definitely is. Dolphin. I don't know. Yeah. But definitely, if they start with pH, most likely it's going to become a word coming from Greek. Yeah. Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we have three more letters. Okay. So this next one, uh, he, you like a fancy X. This now it's probably would have been pronounced with a more of a guttural sound like that. Um, like in German, they have that and Scottish lock, lock, like that. Um, but it, is that? I mean, you try to read the English name, would it be Kai? Key, just like key, key yes, yep. Some people pronounce it Kai though, but yeah, he is what we'll do. Um, the capital G, T, T is like the capital X, which is confusing to us because it doesn't make an X sound. Two more letters. Okay, next one is is a C, and this has this is a sound we don't have in one letter in English. It's a P and an S put together, like oops, like that. So it's a C sound. So C, and this looks like a loop like this and a line down through. And the capital C is like a bigger one, the longer line. Do any Greek words use the sound of five on the P and sigma? It's a good question. I don't think so. It's a good question. I, I don't think they do that. I don't know if you ever have those letters together. So C. And that that one's not used that often. That's one of the lesser used letters. And then the last one is omega. Omega looks like a curvy W. This. And omega has a long O sound, as in omega. Right? So o is a note. And a capital omega, you see. This symbol before, like that. So that's the alphabet. Okay. So we have a Greek alphabet song. And um, for those watching by Zoom, I didn't I didn't send that out to you yet. I'll send it out hopefully tomorrow or something. Uh, but the you'll figure it out as we as you hear it. Um, so the Greek alphabet song is to the tune of our alphabet song, okay, or twiddle twiddle. <laughs> okay, so oh, I was gonna say in Romans one eight they say alpha and omega. I was wondering if they put the letters. We'll get to that in a second. They, yeah, just yeah. Right. I I haven't had a note for that actually. We'll get to that in a second. So. Let's try the alphabet song, okay? Let's sing it together by Zoom. If you try to sing it, you're going to be like two seconds off, okay? <laughs> so sing it, sing it from home. Yeah. Muted, okay, here we go. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, theta, 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 You'll see on their front. signals out long. Be easy, oh my God. 
<laughs> that is the song, yes. Um, one of the things that um, to help you remember, so it's help me remember, again, look at the places where it's similar to our English alphabet. Alpha, beta, there's no C, but there's a D that comes next, right? So alpha, beta, gamma, delta, then epsilon comes at E, comes after D in English. Um, then zeta, eta, theta, that just sounds great, right? Because it sounds like a zeta, eight, a theta. Right? So, so you remember it like that. Zeta, eta, theta. Um, yeah, yoda, kappa, lambda, mu, um, L, M, N, lambda, mu, nu. Um, then you have omicron, uh, P, so you have O, P. You don't have a Q, but R, S, T, U. Right, so a lot of them are similar. So use the similarities to help you remember. And then, um, let's see, P, K, C. Okay, remember it like this, for keepsies, okay? <laughs> I learned this for keepsies. <laughs> B, keep, C. <laughs> B, keep, C, Omega. And um, so that is the alphabet song. You want to try it again? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, lambda, zeta, theta. You know, you see Omicron, Kilo, Sigma, Tau, Epsilon, B, C, Omega. Yes. So in the letter name, um, when it ends in in alpha, does it does it make like an a uh sound or an a uh sound? Uh, probably. I mean, it's it it should make a alpha sound, but whenever I hear anybody say it in English, we yell just alpha, yeah. beta. So um, let me show you something in the Bible. Okay, I want to try to hopefully each week we'll be able to give you something Bible related if you're interested. <laughs> so um, in the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse eight, and actually it's in four times in the book of Revelation, actually. So, got Revelation 1.8. Let me write part of the verse in Greek for you up here. Um, one of the things that you will see uh, in Greek, one of the times that they will use a capital letter is at the beginning of a quote. Okay, just to help you with that. Um, they didn't have any quotation marks in Greek. So um, they, sometimes there is a word that they use that acts like a quotation mark, but they'll usually it will be capitalized in your Greek text. Um, okay, let's, let's I'll show you what this means. Okay. So, Revelation 1 8, this is your word for I. So, let's let's try to say it together. We have, there's a, we have not learned um, when you have two vowels together, that's called a diphthong. And it, we say that in English too. But uh, we haven't learned how to pronounce those yet, but I'll help you through. So this one is echo. Okay, echo. Echo. And that means I. It's the word for I. Echo. Echo. And this, and this is Amy. 
AB, echo AB, and um, AB is a word for and. Okay, so we have I am, and then ta, um, that is a the. Um, we'll learn in Greek the. This is, it's, it's this whole extensive thing. <laughs> so, so it's not just one one word. It, it'll be the, there's a bunch of words that can be the. Okay, yeah. Depending on the part of speech, it's it's going along. So, um, but in this case, I am the. What's this? Uh, alpha. Chi is and. And four times in the book of Revelation, that's said. Uh, Revelation 1 11, Revelation 21 6, Revelation 22 13. Um, you find I am the Alpha and the Omega. What, what did Jesus mean when he said that? Yeah. He's yeah. eternal. Yep. Beginning from the end. Yeah. Now, another interesting thing in this is um, we, you will learn that in the Greek language, they don't have to, the word for am, they don't have to use that. So sometimes, many times in Greek, that will just be understood. Okay. And, um, and so they don't have to write that. Um, especially if it's, if it's with a, and another thing in Greek, they don't have to write up. Okay, they can just have a B, and, and you will learn that I is understood. Okay, um, just because of what part of speech it is. And so, so with that, when when both of them are written, it's making a statement, right? It's it's, em it's emphasis. And so he's saying, I am, which by the way, Jesus does a lot in the book of John. Yeah, and when and when he says that, he's making a point. And that's that's the Hebrew yeah. of Jehovah, right? I am that I am. Mm -hmm. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. So he's saying he is God. Mm -hmm. He is the one who's always been, the one who always will be, the the beginner of everything, the ender of everything. He'll be there when it all ends. You know, it's I'm the Alpha and Omega. So the First letter, last letter, yeah. The A to Z. Yes. Can you write the H? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I. They do. That's that's what this is, but it's it's their definite article is very extensive. Has different forms. Has different forms. Yeah. It, it always means the, but it has different forms. Um, the the nouns in Greek will all have different forms based on what part of speech they are. Um, uh, based on um, yeah, um, like if it's if it's a subject of a sentence in English. Uh, we express that by the word order in the sentence. They express it by putting a different ending of the word. Uh, so this, yeah, so 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 in Greek, this would be ego, ami, ta. So you just have the tau and the omicron, so ta. Alpha, and this would be chi, omega. The Alpha Chi Omega. There's a fraternity Alpha Chi Omega. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I didn't know what it meant, but now I did. Yeah. I, I knew Alpha Chi Omega, but they, uh, I don't think I did it. So let, let's That's do a pretty heavy duty name for your fraternity. That, that would be, that would be, maybe, maybe I'll splash from this, right? <laughs> okay, so let's try an experiment here. See if you can write your name. With Greek letters, okay. Just the sounds of your name with Greek letters, okay. 
I'm done. And you might find that your name doesn't have a sound in Greek. You know, one of the letters doesn't have a sound in the Greek alphabet. Except the letters do the best. <laughs> Improvise. Make it up. Like, okay, like my name. There is no oh, sorry. Like a like a short U. I do thus. Yeah, uh, it'll, it'll have to be Bruce. <laughs> there you go. Bruce. Some of you have an easy, Philip has an easier time too, because his, his is actually a Greek name. Right? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, my Greek spelled funny, though. Andre, yeah. Andre. Yeah. So, what was it? It's Andre, Andreas, or Andreas. Did you do Ryan? Would that be Ro? Let's try. Okay, let's try Ryan. Let's see. Ro Iota Nu. Ro. Oh yeah. Iota. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Right, right. yeah, you've got okay. So let's see. Yoda. You have an I sound, but but Yoda doesn't make an I sound. Yeah, that's true. So oh yeah, no, wait, so Yoda. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll offer offer you could do over oh, like, Oops. Yeah. You could do like that. Right. No, no that would be wrong. Right. Yeah. News definitely at the end. Yeah. Oh, uh, you could do epsilon. Right, yeah. 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 Right, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's easy one. Yeah. Okay. That was easy too. Yes. <laughs> hey, here's the towel. Hmm. No, I think the first time we see. see. So, yeah. Right okay, let's see. So, Rick. B. Roll. Rick. Oh, no, we got a couple yeah, options. It doesn't work. You can do this. You need some this, Rick. We could do uh, Rick. Richard, I. Well, yeah, the seats, yeah, the seats are uh, this uh, CIX and uh, <laughs> Look, it'd be like German, like free, free, free charge, yeah, or similar. So let's see, Yoda, Yoda. Let's see. I, I, I spell mine the longest. Oh, you want? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yoda, Yoda, Alpha makes the uh, right. So it's on the side. Yeah, I think there's a bit of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I have a, a T side, some tau side. So it's like constants lined up. How do you do? M A R T Y. Mark the mark is for the T. For the I I I put a yeah Yoda on the end that has an E side. Well, you, well I'm, I'm thinking, I was thinking that it was, if you're thinking of why, I'm thinking of psi. Right. But it, I, I'm just trying to think of the sounds. Right. So yeah. I, I got psi. That's going to be T, tau, psi. Yeah. So that would be Marx. 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 Marx.
you say the rebels are Mar 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 So it's originally it was Martin. So maybe if I switch. It oh, if it was Mark, if it's Martin, Martin, that would be easy. Yeah. 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 So Martin was a big useful of war. <laughs> All right, so um, I think we'll wrap it up then. We're coming up to our, we're getting close to an hour and a half. So, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, um, so for homework for next week, try to memorize the alphabet. That's that's the only homework for now. Memorize the alphabet and um, memorize the sounds so that I mean it's more important to memorize the sounds than it is to memorize the order. Okay, I mean the order will help help you. Um, for instance, um, like in the back of this. There is the dictionary in the back, which uh, we call, whenever it's a, a, a Greek dictionary, it's called a lexicon. Okay. And so they're all going to be in alphabetical order. So that's when it's good to know the order of the alphabet. If you're going to look up a word, it's very helpful to know what the order is. Um, but more important than that is learning the sounds, recognizing the letters and learning the sounds. Okay. All right. Um, any final questions? Supposed to read the introduction. Yep. Oh yeah, read, read the introduction too. It's, it's good. Yeah. First, I'm going to read the lecture in November. So the first, um, the first module will go through till April 18th. Okay. Um, oh yeah, let me show you something on that. Um, I have a gap between April, uh, March 7th and March 28th. That's because we're going to be gone for those two weeks. So we'll have four classes, two week break, four classes. Okay. So um, I'll let you know before it comes to. But um, and so that will get us through lesson eight in the book, and then we'll go on from there. We're, we're probably going to have to take a break somewhere in the summer. Um, so let's see how how far we get there. Um, I've got I've got the first two modules would, would end in June 27, and then we'll probably take a break in the summer and come back in the fall. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. And please, everyone, help me remember next time to start the recording at the beginning of class. I got it about halfway through this time, so yeah. All right. Um, any questions by Zoom? Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and close in prayer. Yeah. Send us that PDF that you uh, were gonna. You mentioned. That's for the alphabet song. Yes. Thank you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, that uh, Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. I thank you, Lord, that um, you have always been, you always will be, and you are always exactly what we need. And I just thank you for that, Lord. I pray that um, you just help everyone here, Lord, to um, as they work through the alphabet this week, Lord, that um, you just help them to learn it and to uh, come back ready next week. And, uh, ready to learn some more. And so we just ask these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. All right. God bless you, everybody. Great. Thank you, Pastor. Thank yes. You. I have help um, now, but I can actually do Yeah. At least some sort of ominous. I'm going to sit right here because you can see that. Interesting. Okay. Break most recently. I was the different kids. So.
now. We started this once with the pastor, yeah. and we then just we didn't get it. I mean, we had that four or five sessions, and it was a good one, but we just didn't get it. Well, we well, started now on the house. Everyone keep changing practice. Yeah, it's always a challenge. I like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's important to me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you I got a question. Sure. What would you call the the Greek that we're learning? It's a koine. Koine. That's okay. Yeah, koine. So it looks like coin, but just it's um. Yeah. So it would actually be written in Greek. The e would. Uh, oh, okay. Koine. Yeah. And I'm. I'm gonna make flashcards, so I could make on one side the uh, the symbol of the letter, yeah. and then on the other side the name and the sound. Good idea. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, okay. yeah. When, when I learned Greek, yeah, we had flashcards and all kinds of anything you can do to help you. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's good. Great lesson. Thank you. You could probably, you know, there are some online helps too. Yeah. Um, oh, that's what I see. I'll need something like that. I don't know if there are any with this particular Greek grammar book, but I know there's all kinds of different online helps too. And I think there's even a program where you can okay. where you can make your own flashcards online, I think. Well, that's pretty great. Okay. I'll have to see. You know, I'll if I if I find it, I'll I'll just text you and let you know. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. Great. Thanks a lot. Good night. Hey, good night. Thank mm -hmm.